You shouldn't have to have one application for as many ways as you could model your designs. With Fusion 360, you have the option to choose between parametric, direct, surface, or freeform modeling, all in one application. Here's what you need to know about modeling with Fusion 360. Extrude, revolve, sweep, hole, and many other features rely on a sketch for the geometry of the feature. But there are many other ways to create 3D bodies with Fusion 360. You have three basic options during the creation of a 3D object. Boolean actions, which are add, remove, combine, create new body, or create new component. Most users start with the creation of bodies and turn those bodies into components when it's convenient to do so, such as the point in the design when a motion study or parts list are required. Assemblies use joints. Joints are an intelligent relationship that govern the behavior between two components. When combined with multi-body modeling, as-built joints become a tremendous time-saving tool during the assembly phase of the design. Fusion 360 also has freeform modeling tools that enable designers and engineers to explore form uninhibited from the rigid requirements of traditional parametric modeling, yet with the exacting control over the modification of edges and points you'll need for production parts. Finally, if you choose to model with either parametric or freeform techniques, the bodies are the same as far as Fusion 360 is concerned. You'll combine the two techniques quite often when the design calls for it. Let's review. Fusion provides multiple ways to create and explore form. Fusion gives users the choice between multi-body assembly modeling or externally referencing components from other designs or suppliers. Joints are used to manage the working relationships between components and can be placed as designed. Fusion 360's scope functionality is powered by T-Splines technology, giving you full control over shape without compromise. Fusion 360 provides choice between freeform and parametric modeling, and quite often you'll use both within the same design. In the next video, we'll discuss documenting your designs with animation, rendering, and of course drawings.